Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. Now, I wonder if anybody else thought it was odd that it was the Department of Homeland Security that raided P. Diddy's or the, the Diddler, his, uh, his homes and took all this stuff, especially when that's usually the territory of the FBI. I, uh, for one, thought it was strange, and then I started thinking of some ideas of why it might have been. Anyway, we're gonna talk about that coming up in just a second, so stick around. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. As I was saying before I went and got that uh, that coffee there, which is uh, quite good. It's still the stuff that uh, I just... Okay, it's just, again, coffee that I put half and half and Hershey's chocolate syrup in. But it's still good. Just the same. Absolutely delicious. By the way, those of you who send in photos for the Friday uh, video, thanks for sending those in. Those are some great photos. You guys do some great photos. I know people get nervous about showing off their stuff, but everybody's got photos these days. Um, if you have photos you'd like to send in, um, even if you're reluctant or something, don't be nervous about it. I'm not here to judge you guys or anything like that. But uh, if you've got some photos you're especially proud of, you can send them into the email address, theamericanexpat76 at gmail.com. And now let's go ahead and get into this. So, as I said, I, I kind of felt like it was odd. I've never really heard of DHS, you know, raiding homes and that sort of thing. That's usually the mission of the FBI, you know. I even looked into this, and they're the ones that have jurisdiction when it comes to, you know, any of that stuff criminal activity of that sort but you know i just wanted to check the mission uh they have their mission statement the dhs it says to ensure a homeland that is safe secure and resilient against terrorism and other potential threats seems a little bit odd i mean unless uh, p diddy the diddler was involved in terrorism somehow i understand they, they have some Parts of their mission, I guess, that would have to do with, you know, human trafficking because they are in charge of the borders. So I don't know if, uh, let me pull this a little bit closer. If P. Diddler was involved in, like, uh, human trafficking across the border or something like that. But inside the United States, I still feel like that falls under the jurisdiction of the FBI. And again, I've never heard of them raiding someone in this way. And I, it really was perplexing to me until I heard the former bodyguard of P. Diddler saying that he is actually a, an informant. That's right, he is an informant for the FBI. Then it all started to make sense. Okay, P. Diddler's a confidential informant. He works for the FBI. And then I started to think, you know, they've had some real gems, haven't they, over the years? Some real killers uh, that have been confidential informants on the side that have given themselves all kinds of immunity. And then I started thinking about the, uh, the kind of stuff that was going on. This is somewhere else where the FBI over its long lifetime has had an interest in doing these influence operations and that sort of thing. If you go all the way back to J. Edgar Hoover in Hollywood in the uh, entertainment industry, and here I would see that they have the perfect opportunity. And this guy, this uh, P. Diddler guy and his parties and getting films and stuff of famous people, they can control what gets put out. It's crazy, you know, I know this, this again, none of this can be confirmed because I don't think the FBI is gonna come out and say it, but you know, the wheels are turning in my head and I'm thinking like, something weird is going on. This makes me think of Epstein all over again, except uh, with someone that's actually famous. I think that that's what it is. We now know he was a confidential informant for the FBI. The FBI did not raid his homes. It was uh, DHS, which makes me think that the FBI knew everything that was going on there and it may have been part of their thing and this uh, this raid by dhs by another agency in the federal government may actually be them uncovering some criminal activity being done by our own government at first i was thinking you know this is the government coming in to raid the stuff to take it so that no one ever finds out about it but it might not be that it might be another branch or not another branch but another agency within the federal government a group of good guys will say finding out that there's some bad criminal activity going on at, on the by the fbi with this p diddler guy and making the move to come in and take the stuff so that the fbi doesn't have a chance to cover up their tracks like they did with epstein they have all kinds of evidence by the way 
when it comes to Epstein and who his clients were. I'm sure that the FBI knows and they're not doing anything about it. So I just have to wonder if this, uh, who knows, maybe this will lead to a breakthrough. Maybe uh, some of the scumbag stuff that's going on, the really, really awful stuff that we get little glimpses of here and there that involve very important people. Maybe they've had a misstep and maybe now you, maybe there'll be something that'll come out of this. I don't know. Maybe there's been some investigation going on all along. And, uh, you know, we get really frustrated when they don't expose the people who are behind or the, the clients of the Epstein stuff. Maybe that's because they've been continuing their investigation. Somebody has anyway. And now they've made a bold move. Again, this is all speculation. Whatever direction it takes, I don't know because uh, they haven't told us and they probably won't. Until one day, if if it is the good guys, of course, it all comes out and they're like, well, we just busted this huge thing. All this uh, criminal activity at the highest levels of the U.S. government, they, uh, all the way through all the entertainment industry. And now we've cleaned up these bad guys and they're all going to jail. I, I hope that something like that is happening. The other possibility, of course, is that, yeah, we know that he was a confidential informant working for the government, some kind of an agent, I guess you would say. Then they came in to take away the stuff because they saw that the New York police and the people in Florida were moving in to take the stuff. So then the federal government comes in and raids the place before they have a chance to get that information and expose their operations. I hope that's not it, but I mean, anything is a possibility, right? I, you know, and all of this stuff that I'm saying, take it with a grain of salt. I have no idea. I'm not uh, a special person with secret information. There are people on the internet that'll claim to know. Absolutely. They might even bring up, you know, I've got uh, sources. Well, I definitely don't have sources. I mean, look at me. I've got nothing. But uh, I do uh, think about this stuff when it comes out. Like, what's really going on? Uh, we're in a position now where nobody trusts the government, nobody trusts the media, and rightfully so. But maybe the entire apparatus, the entire federal government is just full of garbage. There must be some good guys left in there, right? Some people that actually have respect for the law and want to see justice done on people that are really, really awful. Like the Diddler. Uh, now, okay, he's got to go to court. Well, actually, have, they haven't arrested him. By the way, he's not hiding on some island somewhere. He's still in the United States. He keeps being seen at just doing whatever. <laughs> it's remarkable. So they, they raided his home over, uh, I guess, human trafficking and all this horrible stuff. And still, he's just walking around, going to golf clubs and stuff. What's the deal here? I mean, if it was uh, a regular person, they'd be in prison. I don't know how they can uh, think to do that. I don't know. Maybe they took away any possibility of his leaving the country. I, I just feel like, look what they did to Donald Trump. They're like, we're going to take your stuff and, you know... Yeah, okay, but P. Diddler, he doesn't have to worry about it. He can just go around having a good old time. I'm not not meaning to bring... Why did I bring up Trump in this? Anyway, yeah, this this whole thing is kind of weird, if you ask me. We'll have to wait and see, in either case, uh, whether it's good guys that got their hands on this before anyone can make a move to get rid of the information, or if it is the bad guys coming in, or if it's nothing at all. Uh, like uh, P. Diddy says, Oh, this is just nothing at all. Nothing. <laughs> It's just the same old story. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, the wheels are turning. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. Is it uh, good guys coming in, making a move because the FBI is up to no good, so the DHS steps in and, like, we're not going to let these bad guys get away with it? Or is it the federal government is just totally decomposing trash and they moved in to take the evidence before it could get caught? Or is it nothing at all? And P. Diddler is not a P. Diddler, and he's actually P. Diddy, the cool rapper guy, tough guy, not gay at all, or any of that stuff. Now, now that's him. I have nothing against gay people. I'm just saying, you know, they put on that persona of like, they're such tough guys getting all the ladies. And then it comes out, he's making uh, videos and stuff with uh, with guys, Usher. And I'll, I'll leave it at that. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thank